Good day everyone, this is Toket Padama. This time I would like to share with all of you an updated version of the research title template. In our previous video, I have presented a research title template that I personally crafted in order to help students, teachers, and research writers easily identify the elements needed to come up with their own proposed research title. If you are interested and find this video useful in your field please message me and acquire consent this will be much appreciated please do promote and subscribe to our youtube channel at Toket padama share this to your colleagues peers research groups or students who are in the process of crafting the research titles also if you have questions relevant or related to the crafting of research title or in any part of the research process Place your inquiry, comments, or even suggestions at the comment section of this video. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. So let's go down and start with our discussion for today. So as you can see, I am presenting the first part of the template, which is the presentation of the elements. And these were discussed and presented in our previous video or in our initial video of research title template so going through the different elements again just running down through the different elements we have the following so we have already identified the following elements which is goal independent variable the iv the de dependent variable competency the local and the output together with their respective definitions so the definitions of each element are already placed here. And then after the definition, you have the respective examples for every element. So there are inquiries in our comment section wherein they try to ask me how can they identify the dependent and independent variable. Then this particular part of our discussion will help you in answering that particular question. Okay, so after presenting the different elements, an addition to the previous template is the proposed research title. Okay, so in order to visualize how to use the template, I have also included the research title proposal that was crafted from the use of these elements so that you would have an idea of the mechanics of how these elements are put together. So, this particular examples, these examples can be extended to uh, an, a longer list if you encounter different terms that will fit into these elements, okay? So, usually, uh, we start off by choosing a particular goal for our research, the objective of the research, wherein you have the following. So you can either use, uh, I would like to identify the a particular uh, relationship of two variables, then you have to use correlation and the term that you're going to use will be relationship. If you want to uh, identify challenges encountered by teachers or students, then you use descriptive research and use challenges as the term. Okay, so basically, you already have an idea of how to use this example. So after choosing a particular term for every element, I want to use the first one, first example that we're going to use. And by the way, if you observe, the examples are, are also color-coded so that when we put together these uh, examples, you can see the movement of these examples in the construction of our research title. So the first example uses effect, okay? And then we put that here. And then the independent variable, which is the issue being investigated is online modality, which is also part of our example. And then the dependent variable will be here. So as you can see, we already track the movement in order to follow the, the grammatical consistency, the grammar rule and consistency of the logic of your title, you have to, from time to time, move the, the dependent variable and the competency. So basically, these two will, from time to time, change or will interchange with one another. 
Okay, basically that's the uh, what I observed when I was trying to construct the following example proposed title. So again, the dependent variable will be moved here, which is the selected mathematics student. So instead of just using students, try to uh, specify the students that you're going to use as the re respondents of your study. In this case, we included the description selected and math, mathematics students. Okay, so not just the generic term students in order to trim down the respondents or target respondents that you're going to use for your research paper. And then for the competency, what particular area of the mathematics students would you observe? So this will be the academic performance, which is also reflected under the element competency that we use. Okay, <clears throat> and then the last is the name of the school. If your research title is not that sensitive, then by all means, just ask permission to the institution involved in your research. So that's the ethical standard, the procedure. And if it is sensitive, the result may affect the institution or the academy or the school, then you have to go through the ethics review board and try to justify the reason why you want to include the name of the school in your research title. But it is also possible if it is really going to be harmful to the school, then I advise you not to include the name of the school anymore. So those are the options or choices that you can use with regard to the, the element local or the placing of the name of the school either school, community, district, division, or region in your research title. And then the last one is the output. The output is used if you are conducting what we call an action research. Okay, so this is uh, very useful and this is also mandated for teachers who are serving in the public school. So they are required by the by the department of education to produce an action research which is classified or defined as having a concrete output based from the findings of their investigation so in this case the output that we use is basis for the development of an intervention program in mathematics so i have already included a selected output that you can use uh, these are the following, a plan, a framework, a program, and interventions. But again, these are generic. You have to specify what type of plan, what type of framework, what type of program, what type of intervention. So in this case, uh, in order to specify intervention, we use mathematics. Okay. Uh, in order to specify program, we use intervention program or the term intervention to specify the type of program and then we also included the uh, focus subject for this particular intervention program. Okay, now that we have already decided on the different elements, you have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, we will put all of this together. Okay, so basically the output for this particular proposed research title will be the effect of online modality to the academic performance of selected math students of with or without the school, this is optional, basis for the development of an intervention program in mathematics. Again, this is how the updated research template works. You can adapt this uh, if we have administrators and head teachers or chairmen in research uh, that are listening right now, you can adopt this so that uh, researchers or teachers or even students can easily identify what they want to investigate in their respective field of specialization. Let's get another example. Okay, and then the rest, I will leave it up to you. I am going to go through the elements and you, you can already try to uh, formulate your own research title, craft a new title from the title that I presented. By the way, before we go on to the second, second example, there are institutions, there are uh, advisors that will um, require you or advise you 
not to use the word effect. Okay, if in if that is the case, if we are going to use this title, effect of online modality, you can manipulate the variables, the titles, the elements in your proposed research title, but it will have a different different design. Okay, research design. So, for example, if they do not want to include the term effect in your research title and we take this off and we will be left with online modality to the selected academic performance and so on and so forth, the, the remediation that you can use is to make this a correlational study. What are the variables that you are going to relate? So, from descriptive to correlation, okay, you're going to correlate or find or establish if there is a relationship between online modality and the academic performance of the students. But you will not be using two anymore. So, what are you going to do? You're going to modify, rephrase the title to online modality and the academic performance. So, you have two variables. This is variable 1 and this is variable 2. And you're trying to establish if there are relationship or if there is a relationship between online modality and academic performance of selected math students of the name of the school. And again, the output can still stand. This can be a basis for the development of an intervention program in mathematics. So you already have two titles in this particular proposed research title that we are doing. Again, if you already have the fundamental basic knowledge in formulating the research title, then you can easily manipulate the proposed research title before making the proposal to your panel or to your committee. Okay, so that's another advantage of the template that we are using. So again, let's go to the second example. So here, we are going to use a relationship that uh, refers to the correlational design of research. So we have relationship and it is adopted there on that part. And then after that, inset is a type of training in-service training for public school teachers. So that is the meaning of INSET, which is also a type of seminars and trainings that are conducted to develop the faculty in the public school. Okay, and then the dependent variable are selected faculty. So as is, as you can see, the elements align with the formulation that we are doing. And then here, you have... Uh, you have uh, teaching competency, okay? So, selected faculty, and then for the competency, you have the teaching competency of the teachers. Okay, next, uh, local will be set on the division, just for this particular example. And then, the output will be the basis for crafting a faculty development framework to help improve the faculty development uh, seminars or trainings that uh, the public school is conducting. So this is for this particular, for this particular example. So how are we going to put these together? So this will be the output, the relationship of inset, which is the training and. So do you remember we use end on this part, and the teaching competency or and teaching competency of selected faculty of then the division okay so uh, the division can again be flexible can vary depending on the location of the research that you are conducting and then basis for crafting a faculty development framework so again if you want to extend the scope of your of your research title template you can do so anytime by by all means okay you can extend all of these lists if you encounter a term that you think is uh, interesting and relevant to your field of specialization uh, hopefully you can also share that with us so that we can continually develop this uh, research title template i think we can you uh, know uh, try to see 
Uh, the other examples, so we have the following uh, challenges, blended learning, teachers, and then name of school. And then this is the output. And the, the out, uh, proposed research title will be challenges encountered in the implementation of blended learning modality in. So we used, uh, we used region here. In region blank, basis for standardization of a region-wide inset program. Okay, so again, these are ideas that you can use in your research title proposal. Okay, next, another example. Utilization or the use of, and then the next element, which is the IV, is innovative teaching strategy. And then here, another area or subject or program, which is uh, selected science teachers for the subject science and then the name of school, region, or division depending on what you're going to use. Basis for creating a science intervention program. So the output or the result of the proposed research title is utilization of innovative teaching strategy of selected science teachers of name of school. Basis for casting or creating a science intervention program. In other areas, okay, uh, specifically in leadership, okay, so for students or graduate school students who are taking up uh, administration, supervision, or educational leadership, so this can be useful. So we did not include the goal. Let's try to see if in the output proposed research title, the goal will be uh, will already be you know, uh, included in, in the proposed research title. So we started with tech-based leadership style of school heads, and then we used regions, a uh, region basis for crafting a blank. Okay, so this is more on uh, descriptive research. So what are you going to do? What will be the goal? So you're going to de describe the technology-based leadership style of school heads of region blank, which is still acceptable. Basis for casting a blank framework or a leadership program framework or a regional leadership, let's, let's put it, basis for crafting a, this is a regional, right? A region-wide, region-wide, leadership framework okay so technology based leadership style of school heads of region or example of ncr national capital region basis for casting a region-wide leadership framework okay so again even without uh, including the goal if you want to, if you're going to move on to the next level, which is not necessarily or you do not need to indicate the type of design that you're going to use, specifically correlation, the effect, the utilization, and so on and so forth, you can opt to do this, okay? And then another example is, this is uh, another issue that is currently being uh, uh talk about right now in the academe which is chat gpt okay so we're going to use the effect the effect of chat gpt and then selected majors english major students and then the the competency of the students will be the critical thinking skills and then we use school and then there is no output because this is not an action research it will be just a descriptive research. So the effect of chat GPT to the critical thinking skills of selected English major students of the name of the school. Again, if you want to include an output and you want to make this an action research, by all means, it is possible. Okay, you can do that. And then the other examples are here. Effect of GP, chat GPT, again, by, by, but this time, this will be on the graduate school students. So this one is English major students in the tertiary level. This one is on another level, which is the graduate school level. And then the competency will be the research writing skills and then the name of the school. And then the output will be 
Effect of Chat GPT to the Research Writing Skills of the Graduate School Students of Name of School. Okay, again, if you want to make this an action research, you can also include the output that you're going to use in this particular part of your research title. And then the last, the last example that we have, effect of gadget-based parenting. So for graduate school students or teachers who are uh, related to this particular topic, you can also base your idea on the following. So again, gadget-based parenting of toddlers and then to the specific area of development. Okay, and then the output title will be effect of gadget-based parenting to the uh, specific area of the toddler's development. Okay, so you can just identify here depending on what you want to investigate in your field of specialization. Okay, you, ca you can use uh, uh, mental, mental related topics. Uh, you can also use psychomotor related topics or area on this particular part. Okay, and then the rest does not have any more elements. So I am just uh, uh, placing this an additional idea that you can use. So another area that you can investigate will be the role of artificial intelligence or AI in the development of the next generation life long learners. The role of AI in the development of the next generation lifelong learners. Another in the area of agriculture or food production, hydroponics, urban farming as an alternative to conventional means of food production. So again, if you are interested in using this uh, video tutorial, just please make sure that you get in touch with me and ask permission so that I would be able to acknowledge uh, in written form your, your request. And then if ever somebody questions you, then you can show them uh, my, my response to your request. So by all means, if you're going to use this in the academe, I will, will definitely uh, give you a positive response with regard to your request. Thank you very much, everyone. And again, please support my YouTube channel at Docket Padama by clicking that subscribe button and that notification bell to alert you when a new video has been uploaded. Reference videos in other parts of your research will appear at the side of the screen and you can use all of this uh, free okay, in the process of your research writing. So God bless everyone. Thank you and I will see you again on our next video. Keep learning. Goodbye.